30-second chair stand test is a functional fitness test developed to assess lower extremity strength in community-dwelling older persons. It is a basic and practical examination that just requires a chair and a timer, making it suitable for use in a variety of settings. The benefit of this test is that it can be used to estimate lower extremity strength in older persons. <laughs> Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. To conduct the test, ensure you have a solid chair without armrests placed on a non-slip surface. It is recommended to wear comfortable clothing and shoes that allow to move freely. A short warm-up of the muscles before the test is recommended to avoid injury and improve performance. Before you start the test, explain to the participants that the test will measure how many times they can stand up and sit down in 30 seconds. Instruct them to stand and sit as quickly as they can for 30 seconds straight, using a good technique. For each repetition to be counted, they must fully stand and sit down, with their bottom contacting the seat. Eventually, you can demonstrate it or have them practice a few repetitions. Have your patient seated on a chair with his feet touching the ground and arms crossed over the chest. Start the test by saying go and set a stopwatch to 30 seconds. Pay attention to the participant, ensuring that the sit to stand movement is performed correctly. Calculate the number of full repetitions completed within the 30 second duration. Say stop after 30 seconds to signify the conclusion of the test. Keep track of the number of completed repetitions. Try to encourage the patient throughout the test to let them perform the maximum number of repetitions. There is a variation of this test where the time required to complete five times a sit-to-stand movement is chronometered and this is referred to as a five times sit-to-stand test. However, it would be better to calculate the power from the number of repetitions since it increases the validity of the test and may be a more clinically relevant outcome. When the 30 seconds are over, you can compare the repetitions to track progress throughout the rehabilitation. By looking at the normative values, the result of your patient can be directly compared to the results of his peers of the same age and gender. A score below average, you can see in the picture here under, indicates a risk for falls. The chair stand test has proven to be reliable in terms of test-retest reliability with correlation coefficients ranging from 0.86 to 0.92. It has also been validated against the one repetition maximum leg press test with correlation coefficients ranging from 0.71 to 0.78. Previous evidence by Wright et al. in 2011 found a change of at least two repetitions in the 30 second sit to stance test, a minimally clinically important difference. The construct validity was poor according to Tolk et al. in 2019 who studied the validity of the test in people with knee OA However, Alcazar et al. in 2020 found that sit-to-stand power obtained from the 30-second sit-to-stand test appears to be a valid measure of bilateral lower limb power and was found to be more strongly connected to physical performance than maximal hand grip strength, repetition-based sit-to-stand performance derived from the chair stand test, and leg extension power. If you want to learn more about this, and improve the assessment, we refer you to our blog. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something from it. Be sure to check out our PhysioTutors app for more information about this test and other useful content. This was Ellen for PhysioTutors. See you next time.